Welcome to Lingen Dong Wa CFA why youths and women are not engaging into politics. For Nane, lack of advocacy and awareness that she count. The father made me be women need a new regard to me. Take you. I'm on freedom of movement. You don't have liberty. Understand that? Then they regard that again. You tell her. Ini wakai umur berpelas orang ini kan, sih nana ikhaya maya le, karena ini bunyi ala, kau mungkin kau dia mula musuhi. Ayat pelas orang di, itu lihat badi yang muter itu yang itu lihat orang damai sebadi yang muter itu musuhkan ne. Ha ngah jala kita le, ya jale. Itu lihat badi yang muter fang eh eh fangol kan ne nak lah kau bahasa. Nyom ini ane jangan dengan jauh pantai ayam boka, dengan boka nyom gurni. Borang mampu nanya wahak sejekir, mana kau nawa halak sejabar. Mau mubai ma plaza di, tengah jis jigen bob non, mau mubai lum dono utuh bapa, mubai ko, muta cut bor bob non, doko ko am plaza di. Nyun dah nyun politik nyun segena dialog ganau, on semua gis gis, tang de gis ne, ngade kasi community, ni juge fale kom kilifa, mung ngen tela, koko sutahwe, lai kanselo, o muta ho pur mayo, muta ho pur dipiti. Donc il n'y a pas de problème. Parce qu'il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème. Salila, Salila. Il n'y a pas de problème. 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 La politique n'a pas de problème. Il n'y a pas de problème. Fondin ke wole wuri wuno ke fondin ke muto fondin ke wolo koro dabi ke ni nara na jibe koro ke mbulu kosi lal mu muto wole koro dabi ke anu hani men beti ra onka suwa kono e kata wil ke al ibe pati men do ye wosto dole koro dabi ke le ibu ke tombon ke ke nyato onko le mine min mbara ka himbe komen ngan ranta mine ko min ibe lady. Aí se me jogou de lobby rangi, com tanta pele me encontrar, me capta aí hula, me me embalar aí me encapar leque, se me engarir o lobby rangi rua, me capta aí com me, me 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 jogou, o ala o ieiro cara embalar bem, embalar bem, me levou me tampou bem de leite rua, me levou lanchou bem, me embalar aí com me bem, 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 We believe that the provisions on fundamental rights and freedoms are really more progressive and are more substantive in this new draft. It is a legal process on the one hand, and on the other hand it's a political process. And it involves uh, a number of stakeholders. Uh, in our case, uh, we were guided throughout the process by a law that was set down for us by the National Assembly which was assented to by His Excellency, the President of the Republic. Now, we use those guiding principles and, uh, you know, to make sure that uh, we sought opinions and uh, uh, made sure that we considered those opinions properly and incorporated those that we felt uh, represented the views and aspirations of the Gambian people. Well, I believe that the people we are consulted uh, well enough it was an extensive uh, uh, consultation and it was not only limited to the Gambia, they did reach out to the, to the diaspora and uh, you can even see it in their report uh, that uh, they have been engaging the population to get their views on the new constitution, on the existing one and on the new constitution. What do they, do they need in terms of a constitution for the country? And the consultations we are done, you can, it is clearly indicated in their report that they did uh, this consultation. <coughs> in fact, even the National Assembly we are consulted uh, and that uh, to, to get our views. We are seeing one around here. Every region we have meeting. Sensitization meeting definitely go. Consultation meeting definitely go. When you pare, them you them def. You just got send the report. Your co president office you have never meet negative So so we say debate new living go. Hey, I'm the home take it. You never go go down there. Fear we learn more new or get a population. 
Republican because uh, if you review this constitution, it will be a legacy for my government. You see, this position will finish, but my legacy will never finish. And I wanted to give Gambia a constitution that will last for the next 50 years or 100 years. Everybody will remember President Barrow. That's what we want. That's why we got people who are very, very independent. They consulted everybody and draft a constitution. When draft the constitution, when it came to us, we didn't even attempt to change anything. We pass it as it is, not in construction. But it's a process through the Ministry of uh, Justice. It was gazetted. The gazetted period is three months. And it was matured. It was late in the National Assembly. Honorable members, please can we, Honorable members, 226B, a bill for an act of the National Assembly altering any of the provisions referred to in subsection 7 shall not be passed by the National Assembly or presented to the President for assent unless for B, the bill is supported on the second and third readings by the votes of not less than three quarters of all the National Assembly members. Three quarters of all National Assembly members as required by the aforesaid paragraph equals to 42 nuns. The votes of the honorable members supporting the reading of the bill failed short of the threshold of 42 members. Therefore, as presiding officer and in accordance with section 2262B and 4B of the 1997 constitution, I hereby announce that the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia 2020 Promulgation Bill 2020 fails and would not proceed to the next stage of the process. And I thank you all for your attention. It was very much uh, disappointing, but uh, we realized also it was more of a, you know a political issue. And uh, as civil society organization, we need to maybe you know uh, sit back and look at what could be done better and where uh, do we need to make much more consultation and process, you know at least uh, uh, create more room for people to have a conversation and draft constitution. But in, in a general reaction, uh, everybody felt disappointed and. Uh, we believe it could have, they could have done better, uh, but then, like we said, it's, it's, it's politics, and the National Assembly is a, is a political institution, and sometimes uh, party members do the line of their parties instead of the interests of the people. But we don't control National Assembly. That's why you have separation of powers. You have the National Assembly, you have the executive, and you have the judiciary. They are all independent. They have never been independent like this. Not Unfortunately, to the next stage of the process. They rejected the National Assembly. When it was submitted at the National Assembly under a bill called the Promulgation Bill to repeal the 1997 Constitution and to debate on the merits and principles of the draft constitution, it was not meant to be rejected. The, the National Assembly was supposed to facilitate for it to reach its final destination, which is referendum the people would then decide whether to accept the constitution or to reject it. It is their final say. Why should they put all this money on draft constitution? Because they put all this money to, uh, in draft constitution, what, uh, they know that they're going to reject it. The only position we could take uh, is that we discharge the mandate that was uh, reposed in us. And that was to review and write a new constitution and, uh, you know, provide a report in relation to that draft constitution. Uh, at that point, and I did make this very clear in my statement, at the point at which we delivered the draft constitution and the accompanying report to the president, that was where our mandate ended. Um, parce que euh député yi waxu ñok ñun ñom mi sen xelati bop lañ jëfé ci suñu gis gis né sen xelati bop lañ jëfé pour euh 
dak constitution bi am bu fekkone ne baye won nañ ko mu jall xejna buñ ñu ci gëné é ñun wala tamit waro nañu mëna ñew ñu waxtaan ak ñun wax ñu nañu li mo ci bon wala lele ci bon pour ñun ñu mëna xam lu bari ci constitution waye defé na né loolu lu bari amut lu bari tamit éwu wuñ ci lu tax ñu 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 sanni constitution motax ñu ngeen nakal lu lool bu baax all these political leaders they are there for the, they are pocket they are not there for an interest of the people if they are there for that they will come and consult us before they get tender the new constitution ma sem bo taku nga jokko lu wañe lo wul muntu la nga ñoti ita da santu da da woda abe kay na complain ñu moy na ci ñaan ban na député wul dantam men ya lon koy be be député buñ ko no wol ya kenn na politique ya ke politique ko ti ka jokko constitution no ñing ka na tamano yo constitution no ñing yemi jolonte ndefe nte la jerodo a constitution no ñing ay musol sembentu yaale andung ay kamel fo disable wala mol milialo ko muru tewol le bu ke fang samba noy bu ke fam ma koy no kula ay wol fanan sembentu yaale if you don't have people with disability or people vulnerable groups on the on the table when these things are discussed you'll be very surprised that it will not be an issue because those who sit sit there talking about these issues it doesn't just occur to them and especially if you have been socialized in such a way and this is the, this is why we believe that this was very good and we we actually i will not say that we are the reason why but it was one of our recommendation and we are very happy to see these things in the in this new draft in the draft constitution that is ideal i mean i personally would have rejected the draft constitution if the issue of uh, uh, people that are differently able was not vehemently captured and i think it should be captured every gambian irrespective of who you are you should be able to realize um, your talent your potential and uh, you should be giving the chance to contribute to national development no really in the gambia here they don't respect disabled fu ñu fu ñu dem rek dañ ñu de ba ñu accept ma suñu yena tax yi suñu yena in ka liggey ka yeb ñu de am access pour duga fa so duge ñu fo ne yow da nga ñew pour yel wan ma da nga ñew pour da nga wara am access pour duga fofu comme lay walum ñi nga xamne ñoy physically challenge la goy tamit dafa am solo comme lolu a ci kaw la wara doore ci suñu government bi because legue legue da nga dem yena liggey ka yi nga xamne la goy fu ñoo amé access pour ek ci kaw stress bi amu fa legue legue nga dem yena l'hôpital wala legue legue nga dem yena government institutions la goy ci ñey ci ci sou lay ci souf rek la ñoo mëna a station sen boba because amuñ any entrance bo xamne mo lena dimbalé pour ñu ek ci kaw so lolu nonu yeb suñ ko adresser comme ñu won la goy né yeen ci ñun ngeen boka ñom tamit dinañ am fit like pour such election su taxawé ñamit ñu mëna contest you need policies you need laws you need awareness raising and you need women in these positions where where decisions are made bu ñu amé fi ñun tam bu ñu fa amé jigéné député baxna parce que jigéne momu na fa morom yi jigéneum soxla goor mënu ta fa soxla jigéne jigéne mom ya mu na fa ci soxla buñu amé ay jigéne ne ka ci nguur bi ñun tam loolu bu gënañ ko waye ñun fi jigéne ne ku ñu ci nguur bi goor yi rek fa nek ah mu sol sé ko mi ngéno wala ka ka fu ñuma koñ ñi ya fa ñamé ya député wol min sindiji mool béle député wol sindiji wa député wol fanam mu sol ñanta futala wala ma kay la bata dal yi tandi la ka yi tandi la ko min tolle ngal sindi ñun du laato a manke mo kilin ne al sindiji ni mu sol yela bata dal yi tandi la ka foyen tolle ngal sindi ñun du laato andu ñin 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 ñing tol fanal lafta won laftan kangom wol ya moy andu mu so ni tata suoko no sañ sañ ni ya tara je yek ñinin ka juma la suutiyo di ba fa lay kewalan suutiyo ni mu so ka be wur la baake ba fa lay hey idde mu neke da man kangom soto suoko no pour ka wuri sam ko so neke ñin ci sin sotay ni ngis moy ñin jigeni amul kaddu ñin amul kaddu sen dañ de ñew wa ak gori way du ñu de doglu du ñu de faale ñom ñu ngi topa seen interest lu gëna bari ba taxne jigeen yi ñom dañ de delu gënaaw pour out affaire politique ndax dañoo wax ne politique goro ko mo ngi nekkun ñoo way man nak dama ñew da ne xaaral mo duga ci biir bari seen def fanal la fam meme fanal bi daan roké kam mené commenté lu ñom musoon mu faale nga den kanna ba nga ke kankilinti ba nga bu loko ci ciolié ka gagné nga bu loko ci fongolé nga gagné sen fa la nga wamuta nga na nga na tu kewlu bunde nga ko sino ma nyaame ke wi nin ci wo dam man dam man nyaa ñoo ci wo ate wi nak mu so ni dindum lu wolle ka wi nin 
Youths are the future leaders of tomorrow. Without showing any action, how can youths believe that they are the future leaders of tomorrow? Empower the young people so that they will be represented at all levels, from village level to national level. Because that's where it starts. They need to be mauled. If you don't mold them, they won't be able to do that. If you want me to have the experience of being an MP, you start with the Alcalo. At the grassroots level, where I will become a youth leader, you join me at the VDC, I'm having experience interacting with people. From there, I will know. I will not just get up one day and have the experience when you don't give me the opportunity. The unfortunate thing you mention about women's rights, um, we have in the National Assembly women who rejected this constitution. That is the unfortunate thing. When you have in the, in the draft constitution, there is a clause or a provision that says now 14 women are allocated seats in the National Assembly, exclusive. They have to contest those seats among themselves within the seven regions. Every region is allocated to women. The position of the members, both those who are in support of it and those who opposed it, basically all of them said they are in support of a new constitution. But that, those that oppose it said, unless their concerns are addressed, they would not support it. And uh, the stage where the concerns would have been addressed, they did not even allow it to reach that stage. So that's the unfortunate part of it. So at least they could have reached, one can reject it, they have the right. Uh, because the National Assembly gave the CRC the task, so it was up to the National Assembly to approve or not to approve. But we expected that uh, everybody was going to approve this because we were all, of course, there is no other National Assembly member who said uh, they do not need a new Gambia. So, uh, but the new Gambia cannot come into being without a new constitution. Constitution making, as I said, is a challenging process. It requires patience, it requires compromises, and it requires accommodation. We must not relent in our efforts to ensure that we come up with a new constitutional framework. We must pick up again from where we are and try and move forward in order to achieve the goal we agreed upon. We all agreed that we do need such a new constitutional framework. What is required now is for all engaged in the process to be ready to make compromises, to accommodate views and concerns of others, and to exercise due patience in the process. The way forward is to get the CRC built again to the National Assembly. Remember, this law um, is made by the people. It was the people that make in their inputs. Religious groups make in their inputs, right? Um, everyone make in their inputs. So it is the people. It's, it is the people's constitution, not the government's. Con I mean, not the executive's constitution. You understand? The 1997 constitution. The executive, current, the current government, see it as a bad constitution. You understand? So um, the way forward is for the executive to find a way to get the constitution to go back to the parliament and some of the um, provisions that have been contentious, we look into it, you, know, you understand, strike a compromise if possible and then amend those provisions for the CRC bill to be perfect and be more representative. Uh, 
ngi haklima ni ndul la fta menna be mun to la nyanto do ngo dubul ni dara debite moto yo ko ni tamande ji ban ni mo ke ko mandi pour ka jogo ni si han sa han ya muru ni nan di ni ya sama de bo dal jikita kam ti nyaa ban tol meni kartel fa ni ngi muru ni kan la fina ko yo sama ni debite ko eh salari gambia ko ene fongo di gambia ci di lady men di bawta yaaro de yeso sina ene fof en tawe e wako participate pour lady ni yaaro yeso ndal dipite gidi ko addi habe chali constitution o ko na jaakli kam ayawdi because he me ani dalil bo be addi habe charori constitution o because constitution o ko wodi ko wana no wara no ton dum woni sababu joni dum wawata yaade because na feu 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 ko wodi ko feu jana e constitution e dem feu je fof joni bay constitution o yawtani dum fof wawta yaade hay si wonno na wadan no plan yimbe be ganata be mbawa nani ko e mun rowbe be ganata be poti bokku de politik yi suka be ganata be poti wallede di youths all those things now wawta yaade so it's a big problem to me and na fota larti ndede ay pour constitution o people reflect we are all gambians you know just that uh, these are natural events that can happen to anybody so i think we should be um, um, futuristic in terms of how we build these issues and understand that uh, as a country we have to be super inclusive it is useful to remind ourselves that the 1970 1970 constitution was rejected at the first referendum at which it was presented to the nation It was patience, perseverance, and dialogue we led to its adoption at a second referendum some years later, and to its survival for almost a quarter century. Those qualities are very much in demand today to help us unlock the impasse that we now face. The advantages are more than the disadvantages, and like I said, it's not a perfect document. There are so many issues there that I challenge. I would want to see out the move from the, the, the touch with the book. But uh, we can forge ahead with it. And then if we had allowed it to go to that phase, as, as I told you, consideration stage, the whole house would have been considering it. And me members would have been, you know, coming up with their positions. And we could have been doing back and forth, compromising here and there. You may not got all, but at least, at least something satisfactory. We would have been able to reach uh, a, at a conclusion that, you know, would be a win-win for all. Because you will not have everything that you wanted, but at least you have something that, you know, is good for the country. So these are the progressive elements that are in the constitution, like you're talking about women, giving a fair share of representation, youth, giving a fair share of representation, the disabled, giving fair share of representation, being covered. These are the good things, these are some of the positive things that are in the constitution that is motivated me to, to vote, for, for, vote for it. This should be part of my legacy. So obviously, for the constitution, to be endorsed. If I was in the National Assembly, I would have voted yes. For the Constitution is on, not only the source of the establishment and mandates and powers of the jurisdictions of the judicator, it is also the source of authority of all other laws which are applied by the court. We are also aware of where these efforts stand at the moment, but we must not give up. Well, in the so uh, well, the, the approach, I believe, is to have a new constitution. We cannot definitely proceed without a new constitution. Either coming back with the whole thing or at least uh, coming back with the pro progressive things in the, in the existing one, as we, as we suggested initially. And this can be done, the time limit, women representation, youth representation, disability. These are things that we can bring. And then anything that is there that needs to be taken to the people in a referendum, we can also do that. But we really need, the way forward is that we need a constitution other than this existing one. It can be an improved version of the existing one, but nothing other than that. Nothing less than anything other than less than that 
is not something good for the Gambia. That cannot usher in the third republic that we are all yearning for. We need a new Gambia, and that is the third republic that we all want to realize. And we cannot, we cannot realize it in the absence of a constitution. What we should not do, even, even if, if we have a new constitution, we should not go back to what, where we were. We should make sure that these rights are protected, respected, and fulfilled by the government.